Hi, welcome. Um, my name is Sarah Jane Abbott. I am the marketing director for the Evanston Chamber of Commerce. And what we've started to do is we are having water, water cooler chats, little interviews to touch base with our members and to check in and see what you're up to. So today we are talking with Travis Wallace. And uh, tell us a little bit what you're doing. How has your office work life changed? Yeah, so my name is Travis Wallace. I'm a realtor with Jamison Sotheby's, um, one of the brokers on the Jackie McEnmore team. Um, super, super awesome, great team. Um, but, you know, really, you know, what I've been doing lately has just really kind of come to working and finding my foot in, in all this. You know, like my workspace, for example. Um, you know, I really, it, let's go back to when this all started, really. So it took a couple weeks for me to really get into it and really find my foot in because you know, as a real estate agent, you have the luxury of really working from anywhere you want. Um, but even when it, with that luxury, I did like to just be in the office for things that needed to be done. And if I didn't want to be in the office that day and I wasn't out with clients, I wasn't out networking, I would be in a coffee shop, you know, but I never wanted to really have my workspace be where I lived, right? Mm -hmm. So really the first couple of weeks of all this really just kind of was difficult. I'm not going to lie. It really took a couple of days for me to really get into it and feel comfortable and not, you know, get distracted with being at home while I'm working, you know? Yeah. I don't know if you saw MJ's water cooler chat, but she's so funny because she's like, she felt like at the beginning, it was an endless snow day. And that's yeah. just like perfect, right? It is. It was just kind of this like, what are we doing? It's snowing. We can't do anything. Yeah. Cooped yeah. up. But. Sure. All right, well, let's talk more about what kind of projects you're working on. Anything new and exciting that you want to share with the members or the business community? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, me as a realtor and the Jackie McEnmore team, you know, we're always out there really trying to improve our business and try to, you know, step it up to the way we can offer and present things to our clients uh, to really just add value. And really, there's a lot of things that me personally, I'm doing um, from the to-do list. And, you know, the to-do list is a thing that you've always put on the list that you quote unquote, never had time to do. Yeah. And really right now, there, we're still busy in, in our day-to-day -day work life, but we have a lot more time um, to really do those things. So I'm really out there attacking, you know, things on my personal and my business list to say, okay, I wrote this down a year ago. I wrote this down two months ago. Um, now I have that ample time to really get in there and do it. And, you know, I kind of use it as a motivating factor for myself, the way I kind of present it to myself in my head. You know, these are the things that you said you always wanted to do. And if you're not going to do it in this time, kind of just admit to yourself that you're never going to do it, right? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if I'm not going to do it, or why would I have it on the list or throw the list away? But I'm really making sure that I'm going on the list one by one and really attacking and crossing off things. That's really cool. That's yeah. small, actually. And it, it's something about those to-do lists. You're just like, okay, you really get hyper-focused on something, and then it opens a door to something you're like, Wow, this whole thing yeah. can happen. And COVID's really done that for a lot of people, a lot of businesses. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you know Natsuta's business, her service master, I mean, they've completely pivoted and she's busier than she's ever been mm -hmm. because she's now doing all the fumigating and the cleaning for uh, businesses and residents. Yeah. Cool. yeah, it's funny you mentioned how busy. I've spoken to a lot of people I and mean, even myself. We feel like we're a lot more busy in this time. We feel like we're doing so much and it kind of is true. I feel like you know, at the end of my work day, I start typically 7 or 8 a.m. and finish 6, 7 p.m. I feel like I'm, I'm more exhausted than I was prior to this. It was crazy. Yeah, I totally agree. I'm in the same boat. I'm like, <laughs> the work hours don't really ever happen. They don't end. They don't start or end. They're just kind of continual. Except for really, I try Saturday and Sunday to just, yeah. I need time. Yeah. yeah, that's good. So the last question we'd love to ask um, is, what do you do for the work-life balance? We were just talking about our days never end and we're always working, but what do you do when you want to just enjoy and give some self-care? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it comes back to really, again, finding that footing and being comfortable. Um, you know, when I'm working throughout the day, I really make sure that, you know, maybe every hour, every two hours that I step away, you know, either go for a little walk, look out the window, do a push up, you know, one push up. <laughs> um, <laughs> just really kind of step away because, you know, again, I, I, there's a lot of comparisons that I do in my life, in my head. You know, I kind of look at it as like a, as a NASCAR racers. You know, they might do a couple laps, but again, they're going to come in for that pit stop to really refuel, right? They can still go. They can still probably, you know, win the race if they wanted to, but they make sure to stop and really refuel so they can go faster and longer, you know? 
Wow, look at you in NASCAR ride. That's awesome. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you so much for chatting with us today and we'll get this out and share with everyone. Yeah, thank you for having me. Have a great weekend. You too.